Okay, hello and welcome in this tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to install the Vivo ROM version 3.0 on your uh, Galaxy Y. So first of all, you have to be on stock ROM and stock kernel uh, to get a nice clean uh, installation. Then power off your phones. We're gonna cut the video. Okay, tell you here the the vibration. Uh, then <clears throat> you have to uh, open uh, the recovery mode by the combination, the power button and the volume up and the menu button all together. So volume up, power button and menu button. Okay. And all the requirements and downloads, uh, you're gonna find it in the description under the video. So you're gonna choose. You have to root your phone first, and go to apply update from SD card. You have to get clockwork mode, mate team, zip. It is. This is uh, the recovery. So first, wipe data reset. Press yes. Then. Wipe cache partition and under mounts and storage here. Go and you can find system unmounted to be sure uh, that uh, it's mounted, unmounted, and remounted again. Go back and choose install zip from SD card. Choose zip. Uh, you know the requirements to install this ROM uh, about 4 so I made um, like a file here I named it vivo so go to vivo and sorry the xt4 formatter I put it in another uh, file so download the ext4 formatter zip here it is install it yes after installation go back you're gonna find the can't open can't open don't mind okay this uh, sorry stay in choose uh, zip from sd card go to where the file you put in the kernel and uh, you have to download the kernel cm7 specific version 4 for Totoro Totoro is uh, like the nickname for the Galaxy Y and install the kernel cm7 uh, specific version 4 and choose install kernel and installation complete so just go back head to advanced and reboot recovery now and uh, don't uh, get panic because uh, he can't open cache and this so just reboot recovery I'll cut the video because it's gonna take time I'll not cut it and here is the recovery of the kernel Again, to make sure that you have a nice, clean, fresh install, wipe data factory reset, choose yes, and rewipe cache partition again, yes, and hit to mounts and storage. You're gonna find system unmounted, you have to unmount it and mount it two times. Uh, because the bug in this kernel is just the mount system and everything else is working so just mount everything here Do not format system or anything just mount them go to install zip from SD card choose zip and head to the file you put in the ROM here it is vivo so there was a previous uh, 
<coughs> dates and uh, uh, previous build but I'm gonna uh, just uh, uh, show you how to install the version 3 it's a new build not vivo 2 or 2.2 or 2.5 it's version 2.3 by san 122 on xda so just select vivo 3.0 and yes install and wait till it's inst installed and to make sure that uh, <coughs> you are going on the right way you the installation must um, last at uh, more than five seconds at least so this is means that that I'm uh, doing it uh, well and right so I'm gonna cut the video until it uh, finish and it finished so go back and under advanced reboot recovery now yeah you know you installed the rom but uh, i'm gonna install the update 3.2 because it have a new status bar ui and you know the vivo and viper for android you're gonna see the rom it got a lot of features under mounts and storage go and mount system mount system again and mount system mount system again go back choose install zip from SD card again to the file where you put in uh, the ROM and the updates air vivo go and choose 3.2.zip so yes install wait until installation process com is complete so go back and choose reboot system now the first feature in this uh, ROM is um, the boot animation it's like the KitKat so I'll gonna cut the video until it opens because the first reboot takes a long time and here is the, the, the boot animation and sorry about the damage uh, in the screen it fell uh, mobile fo fold uh, from my hands so I'm gonna cut the video because the first you know of the reboot animation takes time so I'm gonna cut the video here it rebooted safely and this is uh, the status bar the UI and the first thing I'm gonna let you see is the the slide the brightness it's not uh, viewable as you can see you're gonna find it here in this here you're gonna reduce it decrease it from here uh, over the clock there the, that is the first thing then you have here the settings and the your battery wi-fi bluetooth gps brightness you know the timeout blah 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 you know everything um, that you can want here on vivo version 2.3.2 samsung gts uh, 2.3.7 because it's uh, a cm 7.2 based from and this is a bad thing about the <coughs> about the CM uh, as you know the indicators of the 14 toggle here uh, in this ROM you can um, manage your toggles what you want and what you don't want here from the vivo hub application open it and head into modes you're gonna find UI settings and utilities so go to I and CM interface settings notification power widget it is and you can first of all hide indicator then hide scroll bar there's no indicator and no scroll bar then you can uh, <coughs> widget button uh, you can go here and uh, modify what you want go to sleep media wi-fi bluetooth you know like this and you can choose the brightness modes the network modes 
gonna see the brightness everything you what you you're gonna want go back also you can um, <coughs> unhide the indicator and change the indicator color here so I prefer to make it light blue here the indicator will work like this you know it's not more nice has got lots of features also you can change <coughs> the the status bar appearance and uh, clock as you know cm display settings a uh, screen of animations on ticket lock screen and the user profile you know this thi this thing so go to utili utilities you can change here you have a lot of things cm application settings you can install location you can change it to internal external uh, or if you have a um, second partition you can install in it the cm sound settings here it is you can modify it viper for android audio fx the change log Okay, right now I'm gonna press no. You have the headset, phone speaker, Bluetooth device, and CPU settings. No frills. Okay, CPU states. No state file found. And CM system settings. Anomaly status statics. CM performance settings. Okay, there's the CPU settings again here at the top. Use 16 bit transparency, you know. The, it's um, you know, it's average tweak, tweak drum, and uh, uh, at last, the input setting you can modify the long press home button. You can change uh, about you can change this when you press for a long time. It uh, the task manager appear, you can modify it. To let you go at any uh, place else so at least the wallpapers you have this this and you know you can choose between them you choose vivo and also it have a holo launcher but I'll tell you what <clears throat> because uh, when you go at any application and then you press uh, press the home button when you go back to the holo launcher you're gonna find it uh, reloading and this is really annoys annoys me so go to vivo hub uh, I don't remember maybe in the utilities performance here block home in memory take it okay um, so when you are on any application when you press um, the home button you're gonna find the, <clears throat> the home screen as you left it so and you can disable the boot animation uh, for faster uh, boots it's a really good drum which is which is uh, light uh, dimmed here the phone dialer okay the dialer have a bug uh, that um, this uh, sensor when you are talking uh, doesn't work so there's a fix i'm gonna attach it uh, <clears throat> below the video and uh, thanks for marcus messes at xda because he's the one who <clears throat> made this and in the gallery to change the black like the, uh, the, the this black Head to settings and general background them light gray make it light go back and here it is so 
and this is the music you can change the, 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 the theme by going to XDE and find the them um, forum in the messaging you can change to, to jelly bean or ice cream sandwich anything else you want and this is the file manager I really does, do not um, like this uh, file because it doesn't have any features and also it doesn't um, allow you to read the root I don't like it you can use the root explorer or any or any other uh, Explorers from uh, the Play Store. So I think that you saw all what you want to see, and also this is the camera. It's working 100%, and the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are working. No bugs in this room, except uh, if you want to change the keyboard. When you install the application, you have to activate the keyboard from inside the keyboard application, like the ICS uh, <coughs> keyboard. You cannot go under settings like this and go to language and keyboard and uh, select anything that you want because there's just Samsung keypad. And when you install another keyboard, uh, there's no input method. So this is what the ROM. If you really like, if you like this, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any uh, <coughs> any requests or any help, you have, or any request for help, just give me a comment, and you can for, uh, like me on Facebook uh, on the, my official page. And thank you for watching.